All right, guys, back home. Looks like we got some water here. That's good. Let me go grab a couple diamonds. I believe that's what we need to make the suit itself. So there's one diamond. I think it was two, right? So, oh my god, look at all those diamonds we have. <laughs> and then, of course, we need to make the, uh, the benzene or whatever it was called. So there you go, benzene. Let's make some of that. And boom. And now I should be able to make synthetic fiber. Oh, fiber mesh. Oh, yeah. How do we make that? That's the, uh, Crete Vine Sample 2. Okay, yo, thank thankfully we have Crete Vine Samples, or Crete Vines outside. Now, which one is it? We have to slice it, right? And that gives us, yes, two of those. That's good. Let's go over here now, and let's go turn those into synthetic fibers or something like that. And then, of course, into whatever that was. Uh, fiber mesh. Oh, fiber mesh, and then synthetic fibers, I think, right? <laughs> All right, now I should be able to make it. There we go, synthetic fibers. And now I should be able to make, boom, boom, equipment and reinforced dive suit. Heavy synthetic fiber dive suit. Provided physical, or er, providing physical protection and enhanced survival in extreme temperatures. Nice. So physical protection... Enhanced survival, perhaps that means less damage from critters, maybe? I don't know, hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, let's make it, and I guess I can put up my uh, radiation suit, like my helmet and all that stuff. Uh, I think I'm wearing a rebreather right now, so probably uh, got the radiation helmet back at my... Uh, oh yeah, I have to take it off my sur my person at first. Yeah, I've got the rebreather on right now. So there's that, and the radiation gloves, take that off. Reinforced gloves, and of course the reinforced dive suit. So there we go. Let's put up the extra radiation stuff there. Of course, I got the radiation helmet on the actual ship itself, but eh, not that big of a deal. Either way, I think we're ready. We've got a lot of regular water here. Oh, yeah, let me go grab some first aid because I'm heckin' dying over here. One, two, three, four, five. That might be good. There we go. Healed myself up hardcore there. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go grab our... Or let's go on to the Seamoth. SCVs over there. I don't think we need anything on it. I think we've already emptied everything out of the inventories and stuff, right? It's empty, empty, empty. Yeah, we're good. And even the heckin' titanium locker's empty there, golly. Anyways, I think we're good to go. I don't think I need to take the radio- I guess I could take the radiation helmet out real quick. <laughs> Not that big of a deal. Let me go grab it real quick. Uh, equipment. Yeah, I'm glad I labeled these. And- Oh yeah, there's that ultra high capacity thing. Need to remember that. As well as these, uh, beacons. Yeah, let me- let me put one in my inventory right now. Just so I don't forget, because of course I do want to go make a beacon for that cove tree. That giant cove tree, or whatever it's called. That way I could find my way back there and then find my way back to the Cyclops as well once we go down to the lava area down there. Because, of course, that's going to be new territory for me, you guys. I do not know my locate my, like, way around that area very well, at least. So, definitely want to have, you know, some beacons every here and there to try and help navigate around so I don't get heckin' lost, right? So, uh, anyways, I've been, you know, recently I've been doing bulbo trees to try and get sustenance, right? Because it's easy as heck, you just have to use one sapling or one thing, and then of course you could eat them, and they do really good food and water, like, look at that, that is so heckin' good. And of course I got four of these things, so, and I think you get like nine fruits slash seeds from them, like, per plant, so you get a ton there, you don't have to like replant a million of them like the marble melons and stuff, so, lately I've been using the, and of course, I've also been using the heckin' coffee thing too, but, mainly the bulbo trees lately, but, anyways, I am going to pause the recording, pilot the CMO, or, god, oh, what in the what? We've got a heckin' thing right there. Is that thing damaging us? I don't think- Oh, it's, it's even showing right there. You can see it's, like, glowing right there. <laughs> it even shows a little- What is that thing called again? I forget. But we brought that thing from the heckin' deep depths. Let me heckin' kill that thing. There we go. Golly. Is it got- well, Whatever, you're in a completely different environment now. Hopefully it doesn't start breeding and multiplying, and there's a billion of them here in a minute. <laughs> That's crazy. I remember that thing there, but I completely forgot. Like, I remember, like, seeing that thing there, but I completely forgot to get rid of it. <laughs> uh, anyways, like I said, I think I'm going to pause the recording, head back to the Lost River North area. Like I said a million times, I think there are, like, other locations for, like, other, like, cave entrances and stuff. But, of course, Lost River North, that's the one that we're familiar with. So, I think I'm going to pause the recording. Go back there, and I guess I'll see you guys over at that underwater giant cove tree. And, of course, we can lay down a beacon there, and then, of course, go down, deep down, to hopefully find this other facility. And I guess we're going to be coming across, what is it called, a sea dragon or sea emperor or leviathan? Ooh, yeah, we're going to be coming across that guy. Or gal or creature or whatever it is. <laughs> so I'm very excited for that. I hope you guys are as well. But like I said, going to pause the recording and I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, back. I'm here in the Lost River entrance type area. Let's go into the prawn suit. Anyways, I think I got some comments from people saying to do like a scroll wheel thing and then select that little icon of the storage module. But I tried that and apparently that's how you open up the inventory of the prawn suit while you're inside the prawn suit. 
but I cannot figure out how to do that. Kind of like on our Seamoth, we're able to like scroll to the uh, radar thing. Not that, but uh, oh, oh, that's one of those river prowler things. We need to watch out for them. But uh, to like the sonar type thing, I guess I can't like scroll to any of those little abilities like the jump booster or the storage or anything like that. So I, I guess we cannot actually open up the inventory of the prawn suit and kind of switch things around and switch out arms and stuff like that while we're inside of it. Oh, sheesh. There's the, oh, man, I'm going to. Oh, I need to watch the heck out. I, I think I even got some comments from you guys saying, hey, the ghost of I... Oh, yeah, what's over here? Hold on. Ooh, hold on. There is something here. But apparently that ghost of I, then I guess is like a baby baby or so. Oh, man, hold on. There's a, uh... Is that a... Is that a... Oh, jeez. Oh, there's there's another... Ba hold on, there's a base here. What is this, silver ore? I thought, is that, is that a thing I could put a tablet in? Ooh, hold on, yeah. I do not have any tablets on me, but I might not need them. I might not, um, I kind of want to go back and grab them, just so I have them, you know, one of each. But uh, I guess that's not a tablet thing. What is this? Some sort of, oh man, oh. Is this, is this air? Oh, yeah, my, uh, no, my oxygen is still going down. Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, it is air. I was about to say. Huh, I'm literally walking here now, you guys. Huh, interesting stuff. And apparently we do need those, like, deep shroom things. Apparently we need those to make the the stuff. God, I can't remember what things are called. <laughs> uh, but I guess these are just lights here. I guess I'm in some sort of dry area now. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not in water. Oh, ooh, it's one of those arches. Ooh, so I may want for, I guess, convenience sake. If I want to come over here, uh, just basically, like, teleport over here, I can activate that arch if I have the, uh, I think it's a purple tablet, or maybe it's, oh yeah, it's an ion cube, isn't it? And then something should come out of this, right? Uh, I guess not. Nothing's coming out of that. Or maybe on this side. Uh, I guess not, but it's one of those alien arches we learned about. They're kind of like stargates. But I guess I can't activate this one then, huh? Interesting stuff. All right, well, I, I, I do want to go back. I don't know, maybe maybe it doesn't activate if you don't have a an ion cube in your inventory. Ooh, yeah. I guess we can go myth bust that real quick. Try and go back to, uh, that's some of that stuff. That, uh, that poison water. So definitely want to stay out of that. But I guess we can go back to the ship, or to the Cyclops. Go grab, you know, uh, maybe one or two ion cubes. And then, of course, a purple tablet, an orange tablet. Come back here, see if it'll open and activate and all that kind of stuff. You know, do a little bit of myth busting and stuff. So I'll see you guys here in a sec. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh oh, 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 no, 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 no. That's a ghost leviathan. Oh, my gosh. Oh, jeez, stay away. Stay the heck away. Man. I think I barely caught that on camera right there, you guys. But, oh, yeah, I, I think I was saying something about the ghost leviathan you guys were saying. Saying that that one must be like a baby, which kind of makes sense because remember that one tree, that, that that oh man I forgot the name of the tree, some something cove, but over there that tree apparently had ghost leviathan eggs in it, or at least like in the in the oh, where's that prowl? Oh, okay it's down there, but apparently it had ghost leviathan eggs in it, which kind of makes sense that that would be like maybe a baby or like a young ghost leviathan because you guys were saying hey. Whenever you fell off the heckin' map <laughs> in the in like the little crater or whatever that whatever that thing's called, apparently the ghost of Ia then there was a lot bigger than the ghost of Ia then here, so that would make sense. That one would be an adult, and this one would be, I guess, a younger one, maybe a kid, maybe a heckin' teenager or something crazy. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, let me go grab the ion cubes and the tablets and all that kind of stuff, and we can go back to there and see if we can go activate that. Alien stuff, here we go, yeah, just a purple tablet, orange tablet, ion cube. I don't know if I want to take too many of them, you know. I'll, I'll take I'll take multiple ion cubes, just in case we could activate that one, and maybe we could find another, I don't know where I'm going, what in the world? And just in case we can go and find a, another alien arch somewhere. What in the world am I doing, you guys? It's like, it's like I'm running on autopilot, and then my conscious mind is like, hey, you're, you, you don't need to go out there, but I need to come back up here to go to my prawn suit. I don't know what I'm doing. Is it fully charged? Yeah, 100% on everything, because of course we did just get attacked right there, so thankfully my Cyclops is able to uh, not only recharge, but I think repair my prawn suit, so that's good. Everything's 100% right now, so I'm going to go back to that alien arch area, and I'll see you guys. Let's go see if we can actually take the prawn suit through it, because I don't think we even myth busted that. I don't even know if we've ever 
taking the bronze suit to any like dry area so i'm genuinely curious whether or not we're able to even take this to that so we're gonna pause the recording and i'll see you guys here in a moment all right guys i don't i don't know why i paused like the, <laughs> those two times but uh oh we can okay but it was only like right around the corner so didn't even need to pause right there anyways oh yeah do i have batteries on me extra power cells and stuff yes i have an extra power cell just one though so that's unfortunate we do have a lot of power on us i don't know if i want to go grab another one but uh oh yeah hold on Ooh, so i guess whenever you're in a dry area the jets don't work like they do in water where you have like upward propulsion like constant upward propulsion i guess it only works as like an like like it just jumps you up and that's it so i'm, I'm kind of curious as to why that is interesting stuff though either way is this going to activate do i have to like hold the cube in my inventory or something like that i think i had to do that last time i guess i guess it's just an inactive uh alien arch right here you guys huh interesting stuff oh what in the why is this why is it like crashed down like it's grabbing its knees or whatever <laughs> i don't know what's going on with that you guys man maybe it's just not used to the uh maybe maybe it's more used to more accustomed i guess you could say to the high pressure scenarios of being underwater and whatnot so that's very interesting and i was like i guess i'm going to pause the recording again and it'll actually make more sense this time and i'm going to go to the like the lava area because apparently we need to go down there to like ah, what was it like 1300 or 1100 meters or something like that we need to go down there and uh the, we could find the oh, i forget what it's called like the thermal plant or something like that i forget or maybe i don't know i i can't remember the names of it oh is this another area Nah, it's not, okay. But I can't remember the names of it, but down where we found the Kyanite, I'm going to go down there and we can continue our exploration, see if we could find anything down there, because of course, we're still looking for these, like, alien containment, like, alien structures, I guess you could call them, and I'd say we have enough power to take us to and from the Cyclops with my extra battery, extra power cell. Oh, there's a heckin' ghost of in there, we do need to watch out. Oh, don't want heckin'. Yeah, I think we're good though. Oh, definitely going to hug the wall just like it did initially. But like I said, I'm going to pause the recording and I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm here in the lava area. There's like the triplet waterfalls, I guess we could call them. I'm going to go the same direction we went the other time, the first time we came down here. We do need to watch out for those lava slugs or whatever they're called. Larva, la lava larvae or something like that? I don't know. But we do want to watch out for them. Definitely don't want them attaching themselves to our prawn suit because i think you guys left comments saying hey those things suck energy suck power out of your prawn suit and whenever we're down this deep far away from our cyclops we, de we definitely don't want to risk it. even even with like extra batteries like i have right now or extra power cells or just one extra power so i guess i could say i, I don't want to risk any power i don't want to lose any power if i don't have to right so probably should i don't know if there is an upgrade for the prawn suit like the uh, like the Cyclops has an upgrade or a mod uh, upgrade module, whatever you want to call it, where it charges near thermal vents or something like that. I don't know if the same applies to the uh, oh, there's warpers right there to the prawn suit. I don't know if there is an upgrade that'll make it charge near thermal vents and whatnot, or I guess just high heat areas, because of course this area is like all lava all over the place. So, of course, it's... I'm like, look at that, 50 degrees. I think it was like 20-something just moments ago before I even came into here. So, the temperature here is extremely high, you guys. I definitely, definitely want to watch out. Anyways, let's continue going forward. I think about right here-ish is where we saw the first kyanite. I think I read you guys' comments saying, hey, I'm having problems mining kyanite as well. It's just kind of disappearing. Some of you guys were saying, hey, it's going under the map. It's like glitching under the map. So who knows what's going on? Uh, I don't know if it's intentional. Some of you guys were like saying it's intentional. Some of you guys saying it's a glitch. So, oh, yeah, I think that's the lava ray or something like that. I, <laughs> I just kind of nicknamed it myself. But uh, I don't know if it's like a part of the, like, like by design, I guess you could say, where some of these kind of actually don't yield any resources while some do. I don't know if that's like an accident or if they did that by design where it's just like an extremely risky resource to try and gather you know where you find kyanite but that doesn't necessarily guarantee you getting kyanite right so either way i don't know exactly where i'm going right here you guys i'm basically blind in here 
Except for, of course, that one time we came in. Are we going deeper? I kind of want to read the, uh, some more information. Is that a... That's another... I don't know if that's a ghost leviathan or what. Another leviathan or creature skeleton right there. It's more uranium right there. Uraninite. Don't know if I scanned this yet. Oh yeah, I'm looking at you guys. Because now we have the... What is it called? The reinforced... Oh, is that another... That is a warper. Now we have the reinforced dive suit. I don't have that, like, red, like, heat going around me. Whenever I, like, disembark the... Bronze suit work. Okay, we're dipping down, you guys. We're getting real deep here. I don't know if this is a... Okay, there's a passageway there. This definitely seems like I'm going right into the heckin' belly of the beast, you guys. I feel like I am not supposed to be here. Oh, man. At least this is a pretty good... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That is a creature. That is a creature. What in the world? Oh, my gosh. What... I am drilling at it. I am trying to attack it. Oh my gosh! Somehow we took like no damage right there. What in the world? Why is my thing not saying, hey, there's a giant critter here. You should stay the heck away. Golly. Okay, I don't know where that, that cave was or... Oh my gosh. That thing is crazy huge though, you guys. All right, well, seems like it's not exclusive to this little area right here. though. Know? that's good. Seems like, I don't know, how, how did I mi- oh, ooh. That looks out of place, is that? I don't know if that's where we're going or what, but I don't know how I did not see that gigantic heckin- Oh, whoa, whoa, that was a glitch, I guess. Okay, well, I'm going this way then. We're down the same- How did we take no damage there, though? I'm like, I'm not complaining. <laughs> but man, we're still at 100% uh, durability. I don't, even, I don't even know if that thing even had- I can't even speak English. <laughs> Nothing new there, though, but I don't even know if that thing even attacked or what, but I don't think there's anything necessarily new there that I might be missing out on. Seems like just more lava here, though, you guys. Getting deeper and deeper. 1,400 meters. I think that's the number I was thinking of. Where? Oh, oh. <gasps> I am what you see. Want to help you. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, 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 there's another one right there. There's another one of those critters. But we just had another vision. From a... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. You see that ancient alien looking uh, building there? Warpers. Or, uh, artif... I don't know if the new turn... Oh, there... Yeah, that is another one of those things. That's the same... Species, I guess you could say, of the one that we just encountered. Huge, massive. Kind of like a, like a... Yeah, I think they were called... Dragon Leviathans or something like that? I think... I'm not 100% sure, but... Seems like it's... Oh! What is that thing? What is that? That's just kind of flo... I feel like these are glitch- or... No, these are like actually a part of the... They're like standing up out of the structures. I kind of want to just head inside if I can. If I could find- Oh, I think that's the entrance right there. Hold on. I don't know what the- Ooh, it's still like right there, you guys. Oh my gosh. Now what is- These things kind of resemble the ion cube. Ooh, okay, we're going in. We're going in. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. We just took damage. We just took damage. Oh my gosh. Holy, we are running. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're in- Oh wow. Did you guys see that? Hold on. Yeah, look at, look at the right side, bottom right. Er, yeah, bottom right. 70 degrees Celsius. Instantly drops down to more manageable temperatures here. 25, 24 degrees Celsius. And I think I am not allowed in this, yes. Or I, I guess maybe I am with the prawn suit, but of course I do need to activate this. With a, uh, what, what color tablet would I use? Ooh, it looks like a blue tablet or something. Ooh. I may need to go around, because I do not have that. What is that? It's kind of like a... Yeah, I do not have that shape. Yeah, I, it seems like some sort of blue tablet I need. Alright guys, back. I did a little bit of research, and apparently... Oh, jeez, there it is right there. Apparently, I'm in the long... I'm in the wrong location. Apparently, this is like a primary... Oh, sheesh. This is, this is something called like a primary containment facility or something like that. And I need to go to the thermal facility. I thought this was the thermal... I'm like, there's lava... Oh, jeez. Why can't I jump? This thing can't jump. Uh, I don't know why this thing is like... 
not able to jump for some reason. Like, uh, it seems, it feels like I'm, like, walking normally. Like, I'm walking on the ground for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I can't, I can't float. But apparently I'm in the wrong location, you guys. So, God, get out of the lava area. I don't know what's going on right now, you guys. I'm, I'm glitched as heck, I think. I think I need to go back in. <laughs> I think I need to go back in, you guys. I don't know why it's not letting me float anymore. It's kind of like in the in the area earlier with the with the Stargate in the like it, it was like dry land, you know? Like I'm not able to like fly up for some reason. So let me grab that crystallize over. Boom! Oh, grab it! Oh, okay, for, forget. Oh, there's the thing right above me. Oh, it's breathing fire. Oh my gosh! I'm still taking tons of damage though. Golly, why can't I hear that thing? I don't know. Jeez, it's like right on top of me. I can't move. I can't fly. What in the? Oh, jeez. Oh, there it is. There it is. Golly. Yeah, see, I'm in, I'm in the dry area right now. But yeah, I'm in a completely. Okay, it seems like that fixed it, you guys. Okay, seems like I'm able to fly up again. That's good. Okay, let's see if we can go. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to switch. I'm going to go Nintendo Switch to the hiking gravel arm. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to the gravel arm, you guys. So let me go to... Oh, that's... I, okay, that's that's kind of why it crouches down, so you can reach the access upgrade thing. Okay, that's cool. But anyway, it's probably a grapple arm. Let's put that there. And now we should be able to swing our way Tarzan style back out of here, hopefully. So, okay, yes, we can still fly. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Golly. But yeah, we are in the wrong location right now. I guess we kind of skipped over where we need to go, which is like the thermal facility or something. I don't know what's going on with like the draw distance today. It's kind of strange. I think we had this kind of problems before. Maybe because it's a brand new area. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. But man, we need to watch that out. We need to go back and go upwards. And I, yeah, I, I think this area, by the way, is called the active lava zone, <laughs> which kind of makes sense, right? But we need to go back to the inactive lava zone. Apparently, that's where we need to go. Oh, God. Okay, thankfully that thing just kind of heckin' left, <laughs> so that's good. That area, that, that, that like big crater, we need to go out of that, and maybe that area where we first found Kainite, that's where we need to start looking around for another building, because apparently we like basically skipped over that one and just kind of, here it is right here, it just kind of came here, and that's why we need the blue tablet here, just because, you know, we get the blue tablet at the other location that we skipped, so we need to go back there, and apparently... We also need to make a blue tablet. We can find one. Oh, jeez. That's it. That's it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Where's my friend? There it is down there. Where's my SCV? Let's go down, go down, get out, get down. Let's go. Okay, I will use my drill arm on you. I'm not afraid, piece of trash. All right, well, at least my prawns just recharged right there. That's good. Now we can jump up all the way. Thankfully, I went back to the, uh... Oh, man, now where are we go? Was that the, uh... I don't know. I don't know where to go now, you guys. I guess maybe, is this? Is this the location we're supposed to be in? I don't know. Cause then we go into like a giant, or maybe there's like multiple, okay. I'm, God, man, those things are still making noise. But I'm kind of convinced that there are multiple entrances and exits to that area. Okay, there's a skeleton thing. <gasps> there's that giant thing. Okay, ooh. Geysers and stuff there. Let's keep our eyes peeled here though, you guys. We basically skipped out on the, uh, oh, sheesh, there it is again. I need, I really need to repair this, you guys, like, holy heck. Repair, repair, let's go! That thing is, like, right above us. Repairing it, though, so that's good. Trying to keep my eye on it, trying to keep my eye on other critters, too. It's almost up to 100%. Thankfully, I'm repairing it right now, though. And it is good to go! All right, let's go. Come on, Vominos. All right, well, I'm going this way. I don't know if this is the correct uh, direction or what, but I'm going this way. I don't know if it's like upwards either. It might be up. It may be. It may be like suspended. Kind of like that other. Uh, oh, jeez, there's another one right there. Or maybe it's the same one. I don't know. Oh, they, yeah, there is kyanite and stuff up there. Oh, wow. Really good grapple right there. Noish. Noish. Silver ore right there. Some more uh, uh, fellas. Yeah, I am going to go upwards. That's going to give me a good vantage point. What in the world? Oh, Warper. Yeah, you see that one's kind of like a bluish purple. The other ones were kind of red. Maybe those are different, I guess you could say, models of Warpers. One is a little bit more resilient in hotter, higher temperatures. While another one is better for cooler climates and stuff like that. I don't know. Anyways, there's that dragon leviathan or something. So there we go. 
It does make sense calling it that. I'm pretty sure I've seen that name float around somewhere before. So, yeah, I don't I don't know if we're in a favorable area right now, though, you guys. I, I, I There are a lot of geysers and stuff around here. <laughs> I, I do like exploring and stuff, but this area is a little bit too big for me, you know? I really, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. Like, at least in the, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I'm like, the draw distance isn't really that good right now for some reason. So, it might be, like, right in front of me, but of course I just can't see it. Man, I don't even know how to get back to, like, the Cyclops and stuff, you know? Really should have, uh... God, man. Well, there's that dragon thing. At least I know where that is. I'm not seeing any, like, structures or anything. More warpers warping in. Hmm. I might need to pause you guys. I'd hate to, because, of course, that's kind of a big thing, you know, finding the, uh... The power or thermal, like, facility or whatever it's called, I guess. That's kind of a big part of the story, right? It's kind of like one of the few alien bases we need to discover. Of course, we just found the primary con- Oh, sheesh, there's that thing. Can that thing even fit? I think it's kind of stuck. Oh, it can still breathe fire, though. Definitely want to watch out for that to recharge my jump. Okay, the, the alien thermal facility, it might be like here in the middle. I've kind of got a feeling it might be. I don't know. I'm like, I'm not seeing it from a distance. This game should be somewhat easy to... Oh, there is a little bit of a green glow there. You oh, that is. Hold on. That looks like something, you guys. That's got to be it. Okay, well, we've got to go down because we don't have any jump right now, so... Okay, there's a warper. Not too big of a deal. Another dumb warper right there. Okay, let's go. Let's just go as much as we can. It looked like some sort of, like... I, I saw, like, a green tint. Oh, yes, yes. I think... Oh, it might just be, like, a... Come on, let's go. The dragon thing is, like, right behind me. Oh, this might take us to it. Oh. Okay. We're going down. Um... I don't know if this might... I'm like, I, I feel like I'm literally inside of a volcano right now, I guess. <gasps> uh, what is that? I don't know, I guess it's just... Vapors or something, I don't know. Just like the water evaporating or something, I have no idea. Some sort of alien egg. I could pick that up maybe, but... Of course I need to put up the grapple arm. Golly, I, I, I don't know if this... It seemed like it's an alien area or something. Oh, wow. Yeah, I do need... There you go. Vital signs stabilized. No. Oh, I think... Yes! Oh, it was on the inside of this place. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Probably getting comments like, hey, it's on the inside. But, yeah, look at that. We found it. Oh, jeez. We found it naturally, it seems. So, that's good. And just like I suspected, it is kind of flying. It's kind of suspended. Kind of like the previous one, the medical facility. But, of course, that one... Something was being contained in there, that, 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 like, giant fish critter was being contained in there, of course. I guess rocked it back and forth so much that it eventually broke out the suspension, the, uh, the, whatever these things are called. <laughs> Anyways, we do need to find an entrance into here. Uh, this might be it right here. Nah. Try and look for, like, an area. Kind of like a, oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, look at that. You can see, like, a force field. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we're going to go into there. Apparently... We find a blue tablet in here. Oh, jeez, we're gonna fall down. Come on. Oh, monkey swinging like Tarzan here, you guys. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we can hold on to here and recharge our jump. <laughs> just temporarily, at least. And that seems good. That seems good. I think we just need... Yep, there it is right there. But apparently we find one blue tablet in here, just from my minimal reading. And, of course, we need to craft a blue tablet, which apparently requires... Oh, what in the world was that? Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. But apparently the blue tablet needs to be... Uh, a second blue tablet needs to be crafted. Was that it? That looks like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I think this one required a purple from my... Yes, purple. Thankfully, I brought it to purple. Of course, I only have one purple. I have only... I think I have two purple, but now I have only one because I just used that one, right? But yep, here we go, blue tablet. And you use, like, kyanite to make this. That's good. But apparently, uh, an ion cube and a blue... Oh, sheesh, speak it up. Oh my gosh. Come here. To me. Uh, okay. Well, I think that's where I just was, but it seems like 
Ion cubes are a mineable substance. Wow, well, we're going to need this stuff. Hopefully it's not like heckin' Kyanite where we get, like, literally none. <laughs> uh, ion cube, high capacity alien energy source. That's good. I like how they're, uh... Just giving me, like, straight up, there we go, three ion cubes, that's good. Because, of course, we do need ion cubes. I think you need just, like, one or something like that. Twice they make a, uh, a blue, uh, talent. And, of course, kyanite with, like, one ion cube. And, then, of course, to make purple ones, I forget what you need specifically, but you need ion cube for that as well. I assume the same for orange. You just need to look at the recipe, the blueprint. But there we go, we picked up... I don't even know how many we just picked up right there, but man, we got a really good amount. Let's see. It's actually mainly... And, and yeah, not only does it crouch down so you can access upgrades, but also to access storage. So that's four, and then another one looks like six. So it gave us ten right there. I had two in my inventory already, so we have a total of twelve. We should also mine. I think we saw some kyanite out there, so we're, do we're going to need to get some of that kyanite. Oh! Can I activate this? <gasps> oh, I can! Where's this going to take us, though? I don't know, it's going to teleport us somewhere. I don't know if I want to go in right now to find out, but, uh... It'll... Ah, oh, man, do we want to... Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's just say I can go. Oh, man! Okay, Tagazi Island is 2,300 meters right now. Where's it going to go here in a sec? Once we teleport. I think it's taking a while, because it's activating the other end of this. Oh! Oh, I just came out of somewhere. Where's Tagazi Island? 23... Oh, wait, what in the world? Uh... Well, we're in a new location, all right, but, uh... Death Valley. I don't have my pro- I don't know if I'm able to burn- Wait a m- Are we, uh... Quarantine of- We're in the quarantine- Oh my gosh, you guys! We're in the quarant- I was about to say, we're in the quarantine enforcement platform. The reason why we can't activate this one is because it's an exit. Wow, that one we just activated was an entrance. Interesting stuff. Learning some stuff about these alien arches that we probably should have paid more attention to earlier on and been like, hey, you can't actually physically activate that one. I guess that one that's underwater is also another exit portal. But this is the one you guys remember? The very first alien area that we came to. The one that shot down the sunbeam, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and there's the doomsday device. Yep. <laughs> so I don't know why. I, I guess... It's kind of like a teleporty type thing, right? So, I don't need to like go through all that stuff and deal with all that. I could, I could just basically park my Cyclops out here at the quarantine enforcement platform. Take my prom. I don't know if I'm able to take my prom through this thing. I guess we can kind of test it out here in just a sec. But I guess take the prom through there and it'd be kind of like a teleporty type thing. And we are relatively close to the, uh, whatever that other location is. But of course, we do need to make another one of the. Let's see, let's go inside the prawn. Can we take prawn into here? Is it, is it... Is it able to... It seems like it's... Am I going to be... Kicked out of the prawn suit? Or... I'm like, so far it seems like I'm still inside the prawn suit. I still have the prawn suit on the bottom. Yes, we are. Alright, wow, that's really good, you guys. Holy heck. So... <laughs> I wonder what happened if... I took a heckin' like sea moth through one of these things. Like the underwater one. If I went through the underwater one and it took me to a dry land area, I bet my sea moth would be stuck there, right? <laughs> oh, that sucked. That really sucked. But that's really good to know. So I guess if anything, I could take my Cyclops, park it outside of the that alright. Yeah, I can actually park it inside, because I think there's like a heckin' uh like a big ol' like what is it called? Like a moon pool type area, I guess you could call it. What in the world is That is a Animatronic cave critter. Alien robot. Huh. What is that thing? Is that seems relatively friendly. Seems like it's just giving my little prawn suit a hug. Let's read about the alien robot. This alien device of <gasps> Oh no 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 no, it's not friendly. It is not friendly at all. Oh sheesh kill kill murder and and the artificial life. I think I just killed it. I think I just went to a million pieces right there, okay. Actually, no. I hear it. I, I hear it making noises. Either that or it's my prawn suit making that noise. I don't know. Maybe there's multiple of these alien critters. Let's read about it real quick. Alien robot. This device is of alien origin, although its design is relatively simple. Number one, purpose. It's low threat level. Oh, yeah. Low threat level. 
Yeah, it's basically no threat at all, but it attacked me. I don't know what it's talking about. Number one, purpose. Its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. I'm like, it did attack me, so it had like little knives. Did you guys see that? That was kind of crazy. Number two, design. Despite its simple design, this construction is quite elegant in its minimalism. Four electromagnetic legs allow to traverse floors, walls, and ceilings with reasonable speed and appear to be replaceable. Internally, there are few moving parts, rendering this construct energy efficient and resistant to wear over time. A rechargeable ion-based power reserve ensures it continues to operate. Assessment, immobilize, and return to Altera for mutual profit. <laughs> so I guess I can get some from these things by destroying them, huh?